Hey, welcome back to another video. I thought for the day maybe we just create something in the grid again. Um, or basically the generative tutorial for this week. So um, I start with the pulley grid and I'll probably show something today I have never shown before. Um, because I, I did it probably in some patches here and there, but I never actually talked about it. So when you create, for instance, a drone, let's say you use the swarm, which is just a unison saw thing, um, and use a pitch module, go D sharp one, dial out here, disable basically the pre chord and maybe also a filter here, low pass, and let's use an ADSR and output and you want to trigger this with a trigger module right you have this problem that you basically when you want to play a pad sound you have these gaps in between right you maybe want to re-trigger or you can slow this down to maybe one one note here, one note trigger, but you still have this gap from this note off or note low signal. But you want to sustain it basically until the next trigger. So what you can do is you can use a length mod module here, right? And you can change manually here how long the gate phase is, right? So this is just 50 milliseconds, which is too short. And then you probably try out here the dialers in manually. So let's say, I don't know, 800 milliseconds. But you still never, but you still have a gap at certain point. And when you change here the speed setting of the triggers, it also changes the gap size. And then you have to readjust the gate length. So, so this is not the real, yeah, real solution. So what I do usually in this case, I go down to very low setting, let's say one millisecond, which gets you this short trigger here. And then you use a knot like this. And you basically reverse the signal. So what you get now is a long sustain phase or long, long high part, a long high signal with ju just a short burst of going down to zero which then re-triggers the signal. So you have always a sustain phase here, long sustain phase with a very, very short trigger phase. And this is very nice for pads. And it even doesn't change here when you change the speed setting. It's, it's always this way, right? So it doesn't depend on the gate length so much. So have a nice pet sound that is always re-triggered. Maybe a high pass. And this, sh this should be a nice, nice backdrop for our patch for today, just to have a pedal tone in there. Uh, maybe a chorus to make this a bit spread out. A bit wider. It also is, gets kind of some modulation on top. Okay. You can use maybe a dice, modulate here, or trigger the dice. And add a lag. Or maybe let's try out here in band pass. The one.
let's use an XP here. That sounds better, huh? P2. Okay, so on top of that, we probably want to get some melodies going. So we can use this time for the melody generation. We can use here a wavetable. In this wavetable, we load in just some random complex waveform. And that's not for the sound, it's for the melody generation, right? So, use an oscilloscope here. I can see we get here kind of a complex signal. Um, so what we do now is we pull down here the first denominator or nominator and we get just a steady signal and to step through the wave current wave cycle can you see a value input go to 100% right and we can then go up to 100% back to zero and always get the same value at the same position and if you want to have a different melody then you just change the index here to go to a different wavetable uh, position and then you get a different signal kind of on each position so this is also something we can try to use. We probably also want to use an attenuate here to limit the signal range. You can see here it goes all the way up to the one. And for notes that the signal range is too much. This is what we see seven or something like this up here. So we limit this to 20%. So we only, you know, stay in this range here, which is probably one octave or two octaves. Yeah, kind of. So now we um, use instead of this, oh, we can use this value still. Uh, use this value. Maybe use the um, a step mod. Do something like this. I mean, it doesn't make sense because um, of course, we can just just use here the output of the step mod, which would be also a possibility. Um, instead of, you know, modulating the value, modulating the phase, and then we get the thing from here. It's just a bit more complex, oh, but just for fun. Just just for the fun. It doesn't make sense, but uh, we can also just go in here. We don't need that. So and maybe you want to slow this down here. Yeah? So we use a scalar. Half time. And use a phase in put. And we want to re-trigger here this when we hit play. So it's even more down. And maybe more steps. So the 32. So actually randomize here, generate, Fibonacci, no. square, can do here random swap, something like this, uh, let's do it like this and then random swap. Okay, so now we step here randomly through this uh, wavetable position the current index and maybe we want to change the value we can just change the index to get a different set of uh, values okay so let's start with the sign as a as a modulator here or as an oscillator so as, as a sound source and use also quantizer to stick to a scale uh, it's the sharp polarity of course and we need to transpose to start at the sharp as a root note here when we have zero as an output here. Let's use this input, disable here the pre chord. Use an AD here, we want to have just plug sounds and we probably want to trigger this. Um, clock quantize here. Pull the trigger. We want to have nine notes within 16 note grid. 
And we probably also want to have a sample and hold to hold the current node. Like this. Let's go down here. Okay, it's a bit like Tetris. And we need an audio output. We could use here a mixer and then mix everything together, but most of the times I just enjoy uh, using multiple outputs and uh, just use uh, maybe a volume knob here at the end and maybe a VU meter. See what's going on. So that's the first melody. So now we need to make this a bit more fancy. So the first thing I usually want to do is to randomize some settings here. So we trigger a dice and uh, use a modulator for that. So maybe let's change here the decay setting. Also try to use some kind of feedback here, and I also really enjoy using a long delay with some yeah longer delay settings. So we use an um, let's say um, yeah to use some later melodies or values of the melodies or oscillator outputs of the melody or a later note. I, I don't know how, how to describe it, so we... I just... Right, so the more you delay this here, the more you layer up more distant notes. And we also want to randomize here the modulation. the stereo so now here we have a distance or we change the difference from the left to the right speaker for the sine oscillator which makes it nice stereo it's nice nice and white and of course so uh, such a plug melody needs a delay so we use a mod delay with a blend. Let's go down here by 6TB, it's just a drone in the background. Um, so instead of building here reverb, I think I'm going for... Not a merge, a split. I'm going for an external... Um, for an external VST effect here, we we'll use a modulator out. So I'm using the right signal, the right channel, the left channel, and we get basically the audio signal, the audio rate signal here as modulations. And we put this over here into a DC uh, offset device, which is the left channel. Group this together, call this here the right channel. And then we feed this into a supermassive. 
100% and there should be no leakage of audio because this is a Note FX uh, box here. And then we get the audio back with the side chain. Polygrid, Polycrid Jane's super massive output. So we get here the return basically. And then we use a blend again. And we bring this back. So all we have to do now is probably to modulate this here. Let's go to one or actually probably better to use. Now we basically use the external Valhalla Super Massive, just bring this into our patch. And this only works because this is a monophonic patch, so there's only one voice. If you deal with multiple voices, then um, yeah, it's not that easy to do. You have to create basically for each voice a Super Massive. Filter here, MOOC 1. Of course, we have, we have some overtones here with the bass modulation. Um, let's use your second AD. This one is also triggered by this uh, quantizer here. And we open up your filter with this. But the strength or the amount here is also decided by dice module. And we probably also want to change here the um, decay setting. So we get some variety in there. So now we have the melody is basically in one octave only all the time. So we can try and use an octave and basically switch to a higher or lower octave at certain points. Let's do this with the dice. I don't know how it sounds when it's randomized, but let's go plus one. So now it basically modulates between zero and plus one, but we can use here the bipolar setting. So now it modulates between between plus one and minus one, so we also go down sometimes an octave. Maybe change your delay setting. So this is here the super massive blend. I can put this over here.
bit like Tetris, playing Tetris. <laughs> So this is the, the first melody for that. When you want to change the melody, you just change the index here. Yeah? So, what can we add to this? Can make this a bit more complex here, so it seems like there's more going on than it is actually is, but we can also add some more details or m more melody lines. Let's try out some noise. use ADs here. Also something like this. So let's just use a step mod here. So this is just noise here and, and you dial in a lot of resonance, it becomes more like a bass drum here. Right, so when you change then here the position of the frequency, this becomes basically a drum sequencer. So everything at zero is basically low frequencies, and then this is a hi-hat. There's a second one here. And here we can change the length, the decay. Can kind of take some drums. Maybe another filter.
Let me go to these sharp nodes here, these sharp zero. And you see uh, um, another one. Yeah, we could maybe use your dice for that. Check out dice, watch you later. Also dice for that. delay. Delays on drums are always good. Maybe a high pass. Okay. So we could implement here a base, maybe, but we also have here some lower notes this here because we have used the octave and go down to one octave or octave one octave lower so let's try a base um, let's go with the try maybe has some overtones in it. Oh, let's go with the um, a pulse and then use a filter on top. Let's use the same triggering. And we can use the notes from here. So we use a sample note. Take the notes from yeah from here. Here's an Octaver. Pull this down to octaves. Low pass. Output. Too funky. Let's use an attenuate here. Down 
the 40 and choose a quantizer again. There's a transposer here. Yeah. Maybe we want to stick here to some rud rudimentary s notes in the scale. Let's try an offset. Um, uh, it's just a long delay for that. This is a second idea for the pitch mod. Uh, for the face mod. Pitch mod. Oh yeah, it's, no, it's a, it's a pitch mod. I'm right. Also use the trick from the before, then use here an ADSR, and then use a knot just to trigger this and make the um, low face pretty short. Maybe also swarm. Best, best baseline.
think that's it. I don't like the baseline that much. Usually I would probably disable this here in a real life environment and then would play a baseline with a different synth. Because it's pretty important how the baseline the ba how the baseline sounds or what kind of notes you play with the baseline because it decides decides everything. So it would be probably better to use here a poly synth. piano yeah on top of the sounds some drums I'm just testing it's not not you know just to see if it's I think I need these jazz, jazz drums at some point.
a bit of um, bent micro pitch here. Okay. So I put a link to this preset here in the description below so you can download it for free um, and can use it for whatever you want to use it. And I think that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you have some questions and I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.